It literally smells like Christmas. I wish you could smell it through the phone, but you can't, sorry. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing super well. So today we are going to be going over my essential oils, my products, how I use them. And I wanted to make a first disclaimer. A lot of the oils that I still have today are gifts, um, either from friends or my mother is an essential oil guru person. She's been into essential oils for years and years and years. And I think she's recently, in the past five or so years, gotten into doTERRA. So that's mainly the oils that I have and that I use. Some of these things have been purchased by me, but I did want to have that first disclaimer because I know essential oils can be pricey. First of all, if I had to pick four essential oils and only four that I could have for the rest of my life, it would be lavender, lemon, peppermint, and patchouli. I use those pretty much all the time, almost every day. Definitely patchouli I use every day. Also, a lot of the products that I use around the house do have essential oils in them that I bought already with them in there, so I'm not including those because those aren't a specific essential oil brand product, if that makes sense. Okay, I have this whole thing of essential oils plus some that are just sitting out beside me. I have a lot, but um, like I said, lavender, peppermint, patchouli, and lemon are my absolute favorite. I mean, this is what they look like. I'm sure you know what essential oils look like. I don't really need to go through all of that with you. Patchouli I use every day actually as deodorant. So either I use jojoba oil and patchouli and I just put some on my fingers and I just rub it in there, um, or I use baking soda and patchouli and I just dab it and put it in there. Yeah, I use patchouli every single day. I love the way it smells. Um, I feel like I'm pretty attached to the scent. I feel like it's very me and hence why I named my dog patchouli. Lavender is really good for anti-inflammatory. So sometimes when I get like a pimple or something, I'll use this, I like kind of dab it like this and then um, use a jojoba oil and just kind of like put it like right there on the spot or whatever. If I have any burn, I'll get some aloe vera and mix some lavender essential oil in there. And it's just, it's really good for any boo-boo, like any cut, burn, pimple, like anything like that, any like blemish of any sort. Um, it's so good for that. Actually all the, my four essential, my four, like main guys, um, they can all be used in your diffuser as well, which I'll go into. And they're amazing, they all smell amazing. Patchouli will be grounding, lavender will also be like calming and grounding, and lemon will be uplifting and peppermint will be energizing. For lemon, I do, sometimes I do get like cold sores and I mix this with another one. I mix it with some of this, the turmeric one. And again, I dilute it with jojoba oil and I'll, you know, use a Q-tip or, or something like that and I'll just dab it on the spot. And it, I think it really helps it go away a lot quicker because lemon is antibacterial or viral. I'm not sure, antiviral or antibacterial. One of the two, I'll look it up and I'll put it here. But anyway, it's great for that. It's great for cleaning products. I like to put it lemon oil in half white vinegar, half water, and like five to 10 drops. Maybe that's too much. Maybe I usually just do like five drops of lemon essential oil um, into my like daily household cleaning product and it works like a charm. So I, I guess I'll just go through all the ones that I do have. So I went through my top four. I Like I said, I do have this turmeric. I have this wild orange that smells so good. It's literally just orange. There's a couple things that I have like double up like lavender um, and a couple other blends that I have just for backups. The other essential oil that I have that's like a single essential oil is cedarwood. It's very similar to that of patchouli and sandalwood. It's very grounding, very earthy smelling, and I use this primarily for in the diffuser. You know, I like to blend it with other oils or sometimes I'll use it and I'll put like a drop of like oil. Or there's like a body oil or it's a jojoba oil and I'll rub it on on the bottom of my feet and yeah, it's just really relaxing and grounding and kind of just smells like you're doing yoga in a forest. One of my other favorite things about doTERRA is their blends. So I'm kinda, I'm just gonna go through the blends that I love the most So well, that I have, let's be real. Um, so Breathe, it's amazing. It's got melaleuca, it's got peppermint, eucalyptus, laurel leaf oil, and lemon peel oil. There's like a couple other things it has in there, but it's so good when you're congested. I probably should use this actually. Allergies, hello. So Breathe, basically you can rub it on your chest. Um, You can also just like put it on your hands and inhale 
a couple times and it's so good and just like clears everything out. Um, you put it in the diffuser, you can put it like in your, um, the bottom of like your shower and while you're showering it steam just makes it like go everywhere to just like loosen things up. So that's amazing. Um, balance, so this is really good. I feel like I like using this one when I do like yoga and stretching. This has got more of the earthy vibe. So got blue tansy oil, frankincense, poet oil, spruce oil, and blue chamomile. So yeah, it's very calming and relaxing. It's again, more grounding. It says it's the grounding blend. Anything grounding is my favorite, just personally. But that being said, um, oh no, where's my other one? Oh, here it is. Some of my two very favorite blends are Citrus Bliss and The Elevation, and they're both Kind, they're both pretty similar. Um, so Elevation, they call it the Joyful Blend, and then Citrus Bliss is Invigorating Blend. And I mix these two together in the diffuser, and I this is what I use every day, like before 5 p.m. So if it's after 5 p.m., I'll put in um, any of the grounding ones, but during like the day when I'm trying to have energy and like clear mind, I'll mix these two together. So the Citrus Bliss has like all the citrus things that you can even think of, like orange, grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, it has as well, tangerine, clementine and vanilla which I love the hint of vanilla in the citrus bliss in elevation again it's just a little bit more the same but it's got more um, lavender and sandalwood and ylang ylang so I feel like the blend of these two is just perfect they make you joyful and they invigorate you I definitely recommend those two together They're, it's like amazing on guard oh shoot I have a on guard spray too okay I'm gonna try to remember to get that it's in my bag so it's like a hand sanitizer spray made from this on guard and then I think it's mixed with like some sort of other hand hand sanitizing ingredient. Maybe it's like an alcohol of some sort. Anyway, I love that because um, it's not drying. But On Guard is like your go-to. If anyone around you is sick, start diffusing, start rubbing this on you, start like bathing in it. Um, you can put essential oils like in your bathtub. It's so relaxing and you get all the benefits through that. On Guard has amazing things like wild orange peel, clove bud, cinnamon leaf, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus leaf, rosemary leaf. And yeah, it's just, it's like your all time like kick a sickness in the butt kind of thing. This is a newbie for me and I absolutely love it. It's the peace blend and it's the reassuring blend is what they call it. And I actually really like it. I know they have specific things for like women's health and like even to help like cramps and stuff, but I actually find that the peace blend works really well for that. So anytime I start cramping, I'll like put five drops of this like in the bathtub. I'll take my magnesium spray with a little bit of oil and this in my hands and I'll rub it like all over my belly and back and it just helps my cramps so much. So the Peace Blend has, well it's like really teeny, it's a teeny bottle. Vetiver, root oil, has lavender oil, ylang ylang, frankincense, clary sage, which clary sage is known to be like really good for women's health and women's cramps and marjoram leaf oil and some other twig extract and spearmint. So I don't know, it just, it really helps me. So maybe, maybe it'll help you. So that's the Peace Blend. So this one is my Christmas favorite. So it's the Holiday Joy, which is a holiday blend. It literally smells like Christmas. So what's in it? It's Siberian fir oil, wild orange peel oil, clove, cinnamon, cassia, cassia? something. Douglas fir, nutmeg, vanilla. Oh, it's just, it's so good. Like it literally smells like Christmas. I wish you could smell it through the phone, but you can't, sorry. On to the products. Oh, before I jump into that. So I do have one essential oil that is not doTERRA. This was given to me by a friend. It is just a grapefruit, which I love Um, actually. I do like to stick with, you know, doTERRA cause it is like a known brand, but this smells pretty good. It smells just like grapefruit. All right, so onto the products. So this is the On Guard hand sanitizer spray that I love. It works super well. Yeah, it's just the On Guard blend. And then yeah, it's like ethyl alcohol or something in it. Um, And that's what like makes it actually be like a hand sanitizer. Um, but yeah, I bring this with me in my bag, especially when I travel, it's like a super go-to. This is my toothpaste that I use. I like switch out my toothpaste, but this, right now I'm really loving this guy. Um, this is another On Guard product. Again, this is the On Guard, uh, well, if I could find it. This is the On Guard oil, okay? And this is an On Guard blend. So it's got all that good stuff, those antiviral, antibacterial properties. And so it's like good to be a toothpaste, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's fluoride free, provides protective benefits of therapeutic grade doTERRA On Guard essential oils, while also reducing plaque and whitening teeth with gentle polishing agents. The unique cinnamon mint flavor with xylitol leaves your breath and your toothbrush fresh and clean. Yeah, so love it. My last like natural toothpaste was good, but it did leave my toothbrush kind of gunky. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely on another on guard 
toothpaste kick. The next thing I have for a product is the doTERRA Spa Hydrating Body Mist with beautiful blend. A lightweight body mist, perfect for hydrating your skin daily. And I freaking love this thing because it is hydrating, but as soon as I put it on my skin, like on my legs or on my arms, it rubs in, like it's gone. Like once it's in there, it's in there. Do you know what I mean? You know how like some like lotions or oils, you put it on there and it's like, you're just an oil ball for the rest of the day. Not the case with this guy and it smells like heaven. Got coconut oil, lime, sunflower, passion fruit, a lot of other flower ones, bergamot, frankincense, and avocado oil. So like you can't go wrong. I mean, avocado is life, so. Two other things, well, I guess three, technically. So I do have this Amavi Fortifying Blend. So it's one of those roller guys. And originally, it, my mom gave it to my dad. My dad never used it, so she gave it to Adam, and Adam never uses it, so voila! Here I am, thanks mom, appreciate you. But again, I love the woodsy smells, so I think technically this is like more, it's like targeted for the male audience, but... <laughs> I love the woodsy smell, okay? It's got Buddha wood oil on it. I mean, you can't go wrong with Buddha wood. Fractionated coconut oil, some other wood oil, black pepper fruit oil. Oh, it's got patchouli in it, that makes sense. And then like a cacao, or cocoa rather, extract. Yeah, I'll rub it like on my back of my neck, my spine, my wrists, my neck sometimes. I just like the way it smells. I really like using essential oils for just like aromatherapy. So I don't really care where it goes, really. But that's where they recommend it, like your spine or your neck, your wrists. <sighs> My camera overheated, whoop de doo um, Also, was I ever wearing this little jacket thing? If I was, I don't know when I took it off. I get really hot when I record. Anybody else? Any other YouTubers out there? Let me know if you have a YouTube channel, cause that'd be awesome. This blend is awesome and I just use it like, I think every day, really. I like the smell of it, man. It just calms me down. And then I have a non doTERRA oil blend D. Well, no, it's not a blend, but it's a another roller. That's what it's called. So anyway, and it's just eucalyptus, and it's by Therowell. I don't know if that's like a known brand or anything. I use this for sure every day, and I use it right on my spine. And if I get like headaches, sometimes I'll just put it here. Because eucalyptus is like, you know, kind of like minty-ish. I don't know, it helps with headaches. Lastly, we have this holy grail, the doTERRA essential oil diffuser. This was a gift. It was a Christmas gift. Um, and I think you can just find it on like doTERRA's website. My mother gifted it to me. I love it. Like once you press mist, you can choose like if you want it to go two hours or five hours. I don't, is that a five minute, 10 hour? Maybe it's a 10 hour one. And then you can change the lighting. So that's pretty cool. I like to choose the lighting that like the lighting changes on it. So like once it's going, it like changes from one color to the next. And it's just really, really pretty and stuff. I think that's it. But let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you're into essential oils. I'll try to find somebody who is like a distributor person. I think my mom is, so maybe I'll give you her info. Hey guys, wanted to take a moment to let you know that my mom and I are actually joining together on a shared link. It's my.doterra.com backslash Deliri. And you can order any essential oil or product on there and no pressure, but the best way to save money is to become a member and get 25% off all your orders. Click become a member and you will get the same discounted price that I have. And I'll be sure to include the link down below. Now back to the video. Let me know what you think. Do you have essential oils? How do you use them? Love you to the moon and back. Thanks for watching. See ya.